favorite bruh listen you don't want no trouble car the 25th i got a meeting with the governor that's your rap a lot no cap a lot i used to from fabbing down the camera lot i used to whip up in my granny's pot she asked my friends was i they said no be not the mind to a praying woman the truth's a heavy burden and it's weighing on me red dog has caught me slipping with the willing on me Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. Vegas. A short kick taken at the 18. And yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35 yard line. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Offense tried to get a little slick there and sneak the back out of the backfield and turn him into the primary deep receiver. But it's good coverage defensively. They were able to break it up. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Michael Vick dancing to his left Vick into the slide and he's got the first the escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first we just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations you want to protect your franchise guy make sure he doesn't get hurt he did exactly that on that play a perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. A first down carry for Henry. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 more on that one and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. First down, Vic. He hits his target, lock it. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. It's a gain of 34. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They're going to run this with a tight end, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run, and the Giants are on the board first here in Vegas. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone. They do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves sticking in the end zone on a running play. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. 
Here comes Devin Hester bringing it out. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 22. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the 39, Carr. He's going deep for Brown. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one. And while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Carr. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. On first and 10, here's Carr. This will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Again, they'll throw with Carr. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 14. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. Second quarter from Vegas. The home standing Raiders with a football here. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott, and he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. The give is to Elliott, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one. And that one falls incomplete. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The 
The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac. Oh, Vicks throw intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Here's Bernard. And he powers his way up past the 30. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. On third down, Bernard. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Carr completes it. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Shotgun now for Carr. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. To throw on second and ten. Carr. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Got a man, it's Randy Moss complete. The Giants gonna go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Play action now, Vic. He sets to fire deep. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in, second down. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. The throw on second down from Vic, incomplete. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver, and he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. Now they'll 
will take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. This will be the final play of the half. Vic. It's caught. Lock it. And he's got this down to the 35. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Now Hester will get a shot. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And you know what I think the defense is saying back to them? Why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. And he will finally be taken out of bounds. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. They follow up that gigantic gain with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. Again, it's Elliott. Oh, fighting off the defender. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Car going to throw. That one complete. Elliott. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, <laughs> right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And this defense not giving them anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now here's Vic. He's going to look downfield for Henry. And that's caught inside the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Off the play fake, Vic steps away. Left side complete to lock it. A gain of six there on first. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. And 
And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. From the shotgun, it's Vic. Gates has it over the middle. Touchdown! Antonio Gates from 17 yards out. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. So an important drive for them there. And they're not home, but momentum, Charles, definitely in their favor now. And I like the point you just made. They're not home yet, but a one-point game, and if you kick the extra point, make it an eight-point game. Only one score, but you're right. Momentum definitely in their favor right now. Returnable here for Hester. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. In just a one possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's got this up to the 45 yard line. On play action, it's Carr. Eluding the pressure right. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10, as they're down to the 29-yard line. They run on first down as they get about three, second and seven, forthcoming. And the last run got three, now here's second and seven. They go to Elliott again. Strong run, but still wrangled before reaching the 20. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. Here's Carr to throw. Getting it out wide here to Bernard. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Now a carry for Bernard. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Elliott, and he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. They're able to convert with a gain of four. and goal a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are musts and just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down only a yard on the pickup there second and goal car 
And this will be caught. Touchdown. So in the final minute here now, a two-point conversion will tie the game. The touchdown's massive, but now they've got to have two to possibly take this to overtime. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They're going to try and run for it. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Vic. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And this one is incomplete. These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. They'd love to get a little closer if they need to kick the field goal on fourth down. From this spot, it's 46 yards. Now Michael Vick. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And, Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major used to say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Ted Hendricks. And what an effort on the final play of regulation. All zeros on the clock, and we are headed. Four quarters not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. Here comes Devin Hester bringing it out. And no return here to begin the overtime session. That'll be a touchback. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. As we said, they control their own destiny now. Open to keep this OT drive alive. Now they face a third and two. 
Now Bernard. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. First throw of overtime for Carr. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A gigantic call there in overtime, but it pays off with a first down. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. They go with the ground game, pick up the first, now in plus territory. And that changes the whole mentality of a play caller, doesn't it? Once they cross the 50, they feel like they're in the strike zone. All right, You don't have to be in the red zone to take those big shots downfield or go after the end zone. Right now, that might be available to them. And now this first drive in OT continues. On second down, Elliott. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 90 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Here's Carr. He drops it off for Bernard. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Six yards the pickup, and that's a first down. Throwing his car. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. So the game-winning touchdown came through the air in overtime. Four quarters wasn't enough. We were treated to a really good one, weren't we, Parker? That we were, and I just love being able to be witness to a game like this all the way through. Who's going to win it? Oh, what? We're getting overtime? Great for us. A lot of tension on the field. Very tough. Not a surprise it ended with a passing touchdown. That's the way we play in the NFL. But the execution was pretty darn good. So that'll do it from here for Charles Davis and the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com slash Madden. Celebration time tonight on the Strip as we say so long from Las Vegas.